soap could be so much fun! We found some ways to add a bit of color and playful elements to your bath time. Want to enjoy the feeling of the spa without leaving the comfort of your own bathroom? Then you're going to love these amazing soap hacks. Soap decoration. For this hack, you'll need a cute little toy or decoration, a bar of glycerin soap, and a rubber baking mold. Glycerin soap works best for this project because it's clear and easy to see through. Put your soap on a cutting board and slice it into little pieces. Now that it's all cut up, you'll need to melt the glycerin soap in a double boiler. Ask your parents for help. Get your mold ready and put your little decoration inside. Now carefully pour the melted soap over the decoration. Now for the second layer. Cut up another bar of clear glycerin soap. Melt your soap in the double broiler and add some dye that matches your decoration. Pour the melted colored soap over the first layer in the mold. Move it around so it covers evenly. Then wait for the soap to cool and harden. Gently pull the mold away from the soap. Peekaboo! You can see the decoration inside. Now take an X-Acto knife or box cutter and carefully cut the jagged edges off the soap, giving it a finished look. Now you've got one of a kind soaps for your bathroom. How cute! Soap roll. All right guys, for this you're going to need two regular soap bars and two glycerin soap bars, some aluminum foil, rubbing alcohol, an empty spray bottle, and your favorite color of soap dye. Now take a sheet of aluminum foil and fold up the edges to make a little tray. Cut up your regular soap into pieces. Keep cutting! Melt the soap in a double boiler and pour the liquid into your aluminum foil tray. Take a toothpick and make several vertical lines in the soap a couple of inches apart. Now do the same thing horizontally, making a grid. Now take your rubbing alcohol and pour it into your spray bottle. Spray the soap grid you just made with the alcohol. Now you're going to use the cut up glycerin soap, which should be melted in the double broiler and dyed with the soap dye of your choice. Pour it over your regular soap in the tray. Move the tray around to make sure it cools evenly. Once it's cool, carefully pull the aluminum foil away from the soap and roll it up. Keep rolling. Stop when you're about halfway. Cut the soap away and place it on a cutting board. Now cut it into slices, sushi roll style. Isn't that pretty? Endless soap sponge. Grab a nice squishy bath sponge, a bar of soap, and an X-Acto knife. Cut an opening into the sponge, big enough to hold a bar of soap. Then put your soap inside. Hot glue the edges of the soap back together, sealing the soap inside the sponge. Now check this out. You've made a sponge full of never-ending suds and bubbles! Exfoliating scrub. To make your own luxurious scrub, grab some liquid soap, ground coffee, a bit of sour cream, and some vanilla scented oil. This looks like a nice bowl. Pour the liquid soap in, followed by the coffee, a few scoops of sour cream, and a dash of vanilla scented oil. Stir, stir, stir! Hands feeling dry and rough? Use this exfoliating hand scrub. Rub it into your hands and enjoy the vanilla coffee aroma. Rinse off the scrub in a separate bowl of water. Now your hands are smooth and silky, and they smell great! Jelly prank! Get a hold of some gummy molds in your favorite shapes. Then get your vanilla scented oil, some gelatin, food coloring in three different colors, and some clear liquid hand soap. Pour the soap into a bowl and add the gelatin. Stir, stir, and stir some more until it's all mixed together. Now separate the gelatin soap evenly into three bowls. Add your food coloring, one color per bowl. Add the vanilla scent to all three. Time for the gummy mold action. Pour your first color soap into one side. Pour the next color into the other side. 
Repeat with the last color. Give it time to gel. Now you have soaps that look like gummy candy. So squishy, silly, stretchy. Boing, 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 boing. These totally look like yummy treats. But will this prank fool your friends? Side by side, they look the same as real gummy candy. But this one smells like soap. Better luck next time. So freshener. For this, you'll need your vanilla scented oil again, mesh bags, a bar of soap, and a cheese grater. Take a bright, colorful bar of soap and grate it with a cheese grater. Keep going until you have a bunch of fun soap shavings. Cool! Now take one of your mesh bags and fill it with the soap shavings. Put a few drops of vanilla scented oil with the shavings and draw the bag closed. Do the same with the second bag. Now you've got scented fresheners for your drawers or your locker. They're pretty too. Soap flakes. Grab two of your favorite moisturizing bars of soap and a container. Now grate the soap with the fine grating side of the cheese grater. Put all the little shavings into a bowl. Repeat with the second bar. That already looks pretty cool, right? Now that you've got your two bowls of soap shavings, put some of the shavings into your container. Now switch and add the other color. Keep alternating until you've got a pattern. Secure the lid. Now you've got soap flakes to wash your hands. No more messy bars. Sophisticated soap decoration. Here's another great way to add some decorative elements to your soaps. For this, you'll need your flower-shaped soap molds again and a few bars of regular soap. Grab some cinnamon sticks, star anise, dried flowers, and soap dye. By now, you should be an expert at soap cutting. Cut the bars into little pieces. Get your cinnamon sticks and star anise ready. Now that you've melted the soap in a double broiler, pour it into the mold. Carefully place the star anise on top and a cinnamon stick that has been cut in half. Now pull out your dried flowers. Aren't they pretty? Pour the remaining soap into the second mold. If a film forms on top, scrape it away with a spoon. Now carefully place your flower into the soap. You may have to hold it in place for a minute while the soap hardens around it. Voila! Decorative soaps add sophistication to any powder room. Butterfly soaps. Here's your chance to make butterfly art out of your favorite soap. On a piece of paper, draw a butterfly. Cut it out. Butterflies are symbols of hope and transformation. They also look great in a soap dish. Now take a bar of your favorite color of glycerin soap and stencil the shape of the butterfly onto it. Since glycerin has a lower pH level than other soaps, it helps the skin retain its natural moisture. Now put the soap on a cutting board and use a paring knife to cut out the shape of the butterfly. Take your time and watch out for your fingers. Rub it to smooth out the edges. That is one whimsical butterfly. Rubber trick. For this trick, you're going to need a bag full of rubber bands and some creamy liquid hand soap. Want to keep soap from leaking in your bag while you travel? Check out this cool trick. Pull out a few rubber bands. Wrap them around the spout of your soap pump. Add another one and another one until the soap pump can't be pushed down. Throw it in your bag and go. Soap cleaner. It's easy to make your own soap cleaner. All you need is an empty spray bottle and a bar of soap. Grate the soap with a cheese grater. Soap shavings feel so cool. Now melt the soap in a double broiler until it's in liquid form. Add some water to give it more consistency. Add some good smelling oil drops to the mix. Stir it together. Grab a funnel and pour the liquid soap cleaner into the spray bottle. Now you can clean your countertops with a pleasant smelling, chemical free cleaner. Drawing on milk. Here's a trippy art project you can do at home. All you need is a quart of milk and a few different colors of soap dye. Everything is better with glitter. You will also need Q-tips. Pour the milk into a plate or a saucer. 
Add a dash of soap dye, then add another color, then another. Now, this part's important. You want to add a little bit of soap to the end of a Q-tip. You have to dip the Q-tip into the soap and then put the Q-tip into the milk mixture because the dye reacts when it comes into contact with the soap. Whoa, that is some psychedelic milk. Don't you feel like you could stare at this forever? Here's another fun combo. Take your plate of milk and some of your dye. Pour the dye around in the milk. Here's our favorite part, glitter. Sprinkle the glitter in. Dip your Q-tip into the soap and swirl it around. Make cool designs and watch the art change. So fun! Glass cleaner. Glass is smudged up again? Here's an easy hack. Rub a bar of soap directly on the lenses. Now take a microfiber cloth and gently polish until they sparkle. No smudges here. Everything looks brighter. Ice pack. Ever wonder how they make those gel-filled ice packs? Here's a trick to make your own. Pull out a Ziploc bag from the box and get ready to use your trusty liquid soap again. Pour the soap into the bag. Now add some food coloring. Seal the bag and swish the liquid soap around to mix it with the food coloring. Now you have a homemade gel ice pack for those bumps and bruises. Ah, that feels better. Soap crystals. You know the drill. Cut pieces from a bar of clear glycerin soap. But this time, cut the soap into crystal looking shapes. Easy soap crystals. Soap carving. Become a master soap carver with a bar of decorative soap and a potato peeler. This is very soothing for the senses. And it smells nice too. You can cut the soap into little squares too. So relaxing. And that's our amazing soap hacks. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our video below. See you next time.